to enter an activation key for a demo period or if you have purchased a new document or module, you should do the following. First here observe that this is a small package with only Kent repertory and it has a limited number of Materia Medicas, a limited number of reference documents. So go to the menu bar Help, then select Update your license. Click Next, then fill in your first name, last name, email address, and select here the country. Then continue here at the bottom with the license number. Make sure you start at the beginning. Then enter here the activation key which you have received. Also make sure that you place the cursor really on the first position. Then you can type in the activation key which you have received or use copy paste. If you use copy paste, make sure you do not paste also a, a space at the beginning or a space at the end. So I enter here the activation key and then I go to next. The program is contacting the server and you see the message your license has been updated successfully. Now you need to restart the program. So I say close. I close Raider Opus. And I start the program again. You see now that I have in the section of the repertories a lot more books. And in references, I also have a lot more books because now in this example, I've entered a demonstration, a demo activation key, which gives access to a large number of books. Make sure also that if you have purchased uh, other languages or you have received a demo activation key for other languages, that you click on the local options in the section of repertories and select here languages and select all or only those languages which you have interest in. Do the same here for references. Open the local options, click on languages, select all or only the language you are interested in and close. And you will see now a lot more documents. Now, for example, uh, for uh, synthesis, if you have a demo period of Schroyan's synthesis, I click here on Schroyan's, at the left it opens. Now, if you have a demo uh, activation key with full access, you can also select the language of synthesis. You can select the primary language or add a second language. So in this case, I have the synthesis in English and I add here a German as second language. You can also switch the primary language. Remember also there is a very nice feature that you can add a Google translation in any language. So for example here I say uh, here Chinese. And you see here the Chinese has been added. 